Our incubator is the conversion of the former Independence Regional Medical Center, a, a, a hospital which is fully operational until May of 2007. Uh, we're taking that existing space uh, and converting it uh, to a multi-use uh, business incubator. Uh, one of the main focuses of the incubator is going to be on uh, biotech, biosciences, nanotechnology. Uh, we've allotted 30,000 square foot to that space, primarily taking the surgical suites uh, that were used in the hospital facility, uh, converting them over into eight uh, wet lab facilities. Well, when you look in the, in the Kansas City Metro, I think the, the first thing we bring to them is facilities. Uh, the demand for wet lab space within the KC Metro by both Animal Health, which has a huge niche in the Kansas City Metro, as well as other life science companies, the demand for lab space is incredible. So we already see that the demand is out there and that the opportunity is there. Uh, what we hope to bring to the table as well as facilities is, is expertise, uh, background. Uh, we've set up a, a, a local angel investor group, which has also helped bring in capital. And that's one of the key conditions I think that most most uh, companies need is that is that access to capital. My background uh, primarily is in economic development. Uh, I've worked for about uh, 17 years in, in various uh, economic development agencies, uh, working on the municipal side, uh, working on the on the private side, working with chambers of commerce, uh, really connecting with businesses, uh, working with them from from startups to well-established businesses through uh, through business retention. We've got great um, support for this project uh, through. Uh, uh, through local sources such as the City of Independence, which is using tax increment finance dollars to help support it, uh, the Independent School District, which is a partner on this project, but also we're looking for, for private sources as well. That would, that would really help boost and, and make this facility even more successful and help sustain it long term. One of our primary partners is the Kansas City Area Life Sciences Institute, which was a group which was formed several years ago to, to really help uh, build the niche that already exists in Kansas City, not only on the bio side, which a group like the Stowers Institute is one of their, one of their groups they support, but also on the animal health side, which has a, a huge niche and uh, has a huge percentage of, of products being produced within the Kansas City Metro. So uh, we've partnered with them, we partnered with the Kansas City Area Development Council, which is kind of the marketing branch and helps bring projects uh, to our facility. Uh, a number of those partners will help make it successful.